Chapter 4, Part 1, My Imaginary Friend. My pills. Oh, this is the other side of the bridge. My goodness, the door opened. Wow, interesting. Come on, Mr. Midnight, let's find out where we are. Oh, Fran, I hope we can find home soon. I'm starving. Mr. Midnight, look, I think we are on the other side of the bridge. We should have given Mr. Minute a fish in the Thursta. Do you remember? The one we tried to cross before we fell into a Thursta. Yes, I remember. Great. Let's keep on going, Kitty. We have to be careful now. What? Are those my pills? Wow, but where are they going? I wonder how long it took for this tree to grow. That's not fishy at all. Home? I guess home is in that direction. Tch, who's home? Pills? Don't move. Ah, you want to show me the way back home? Oh, this tree looks perfect to build a little treehouse on. How lovely. Who's there? I shouldn't have touched the pills! Bad, friend! Bad! Bad! <gasps> ah, what should I do now, kitty? We're trapped forever and ever! Oh, frick. You've gotta be kidding me! I can't do anything! Oh, I have a knife, though. Oh, what's this? That's what Palantras gave me earlier. I wonder why Palantras gave me this. I can't open it. Okay, later on, then? But I do have a knife here. Or I can just burn the freaking thing. No. <laughs> I don't want to burn myself. Use a bloody knife. Oh! <gasps> Fran, you're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. And as I see it, you are not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I am Edward, your faithful friend. Edward? Do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Did you forget? Why are you suddenly talking to me? Are you the one who set the trap? Yes, I'm the creature of the night. We've been playing together. I helped you to get Mr. Midnight back, you see? Really? Huh, I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one that made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believed it was me. You see? But that's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blamed me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. But let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? The sisters were blaming him for the way they were? Well, if the parents didn't love them, then that would make sense why they ended up at the asylum. Hmm. Don't you recognize me, dear friend? The long man with the top hat? I always came by night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you imagined me. My imaginary friend. But he's helping me out very physically and concretely. He helped me open the window, so on and so forth. But I'm not imaginary, you see. I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar, yes. I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. The truth is that. The truth is that you were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me. Take me home? I can't let you do that. I don't know you. Oh, I won't hurt you. I'm not made of darkness. I'm your friend. Mm, Alright, you seem nice. 
I'll go with you, but I won't trust you yet. That's fine. Come on now. I have something to show you. Oh my gosh, you're long. Well, he's very well dressed. Which makes me think he's from a well-off family, which means he's probably a nice guy. Money talks, you know. <laughs> oh. Behold! The Edward flying machine! What do you think? It's alright, but can it really fly? Yes, with this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. Simple as that? We'll fly as soon as I fix the details. Besides, it's not 235 yet. That sounds great, but what is it about 235, sir? I don't understand. It's when time becomes slower, and that gives us a chance to enter the ultra reality. Inside the ultra reality, we can travel wherever we want to go. Right now, we are standing on the endless limits of the second reality. I need to check my journal again. But you are part of the third reality. Do you understand? Yes, I do understand. No, I don't. It sounds insane. But, sir, should I just wait until you're done fixing the machine? Wait, of course not. You can help by getting water and fireberries, all right? But, I'm tired. Maybe I'll just wait here. If you wait, I'll wait, and the endless waiting will consume us both. Oh no, no, I really want to go home, sir, so yes, I'll help. Great, here is my amazing handmade bucket for the water. I made it myself. Wow, you look like a freaking inventor. Ah, and the fire berries. You'll realize which berries to pick up because of the fire. All right, but sir? Can I just ask, why do you need the berries and the water? Oh, well, the berries are incredibly good fuel. They last many, many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt. The Kamalas. Oh, Kamalas. I see. I hope they don't come around the flying machine. We never know, but we do know that they don't like water, yes? Oh, darling, I almost forgot. Your medicine, you need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see? Here. Is it really a good idea for me to be taking those? Invisible to my eyes? Hmm, I see. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Oh, yes, about that. I'm sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. Uh, next time you can just try waving at me. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap in like one second. Anyway, I'll go get the fireberries in the water. I'll be right back. Great, I'll be preparing the machine. Okay. Whoa, he looks like he knows a lot of stuff. He's wearing like fancy clothes and he's got this mechanical contraption. Wow, a mechanical bird. This is grand. Is it really gonna be that easy? We're gonna wait till 2.35, take a flying machine and then go home? What's gonna be awaiting for me at home though, cause... Aunt Grace? Will she be at home? I assume she's not gonna be living in the place where the murder happened. And it's not like she ever lived with us in the first place, right? Hello? I think I hear something. Mmm, delicious berries. I don't think these are on fire. They are regular berries then, not fire berries. What do you think, Mr. Midnight? Oh, my dear kitty. I really hope the flying machine takes us home. Me too! But if it breaks while we fly, we can get hurt. Well, it's the same as... Think about the frog. It's like Mr. Frog. If he sank, then we would have drowned too, so... But it didn't, right? So just... Just be okay with it. You're right, kitty. That's scary. But let's keep calm. We can't predict such things. That's right. Did you find the fireberries in the water already? We need them for the journey back home. Okay. Oh, sorry. I have many things to fix. The machine must be in excellent condition. Delicious berries that are also not on fire. The handmade buckets. Edward made it. It's empty. Edward. It's kind of like a grand sounding name. Like Edward, but Edward. It's got its own flavor to it. We've seen all these maps already, 
Should we start using the pills right away? From here? Oh my god. Hello. Lucifern, right? Hello? Are you those shiny insects that get stuck on trees because of curiosity? We usually get stuck, yes. How do you know this? You are not one of us. I met some of your kind before. I helped them to get free from curiosity. Ah, that is very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. Yes, I think curiosity is a good thing, but are you stuck? Not at all. We're just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Wow, that sounds amazing. Good luck. I have to go now. Bye. Oh, this thing goes all the way to the other places too. Ooh. There's another one here. Wow, so much hair and so shiny. I feel like in a magical world of hair. Ooh. Even the signs can change. Hell? Well, I don't want to go there. The sign is a bit confusing. It has two destinations. And there's the fireberries. We probably can't touch that with our bare hands, though. Oh, the berries are on fire. It has to be the fireberries. I can't reach them from here. Just my luck. I wonder what I can do. Is this thing alive? Get out! Get out! You are trespassing on my territory! Huh? Excuse me, I thought you were dead. How could you possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady. I'm very sorry, but you seem to be all rotten and bloody. <laughs> Fran giving the hard-hitting truths. Me? Rotten and bloody? I think you are misunderstanding the situation. Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose? But I'm not a moose. I'm a deadly worm. Excuse me? A deadly worm? No, no, not a deadly worm. A deadly worm. Oh, okay. I don't go around killing creatures. I just give back to the soil what creatures took from it and don't need anymore. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Oh! Hey, you were in Little Misfortune too, right? Towards the end? Down here, creature! Can't you see me? Oh, there you are! You're so tiny! Hello, my name is Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask, why did you touch the moose in the first place? Normally, only scavengers would touch dead animals. Are you one? Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb on it, to reach the fireberries. I see. I think it's possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fireberries are on fire. You can hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire, but I have to take them somehow. Good luck with that. Climb on now. I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Did a little curtsy. So he's bringing this back to the soil. In a circle of life, so on and so forth. Um... I don't feel like anything I have is fireproof. I can't take the fireberries. They're on fire. The buckets? It could work if I had water inside the bucket. So I need water inside the bucket first. All right. Hold on then. I'll be back. Once I figure this out. Wow, so much hair and so shiny. They're still building their thing here. Oh my god. And Edward doesn't show up in this place. Neither does Mr. Midnight. Oh. Am I nutritious? I bet I am. Tasty fresh flesh. Mm hmm. <laughs> Ew. I look completely deformed. I wonder if this friend is really me but from some other place. Who took you here? Or is it me visiting you in the other reality? I don't like that thought. She's taking this so well, though. Maybe it's not such a bad thing because it certainly beats being scared about everything we see in this world, right? 
You are the Kamalas, aren't you? Can you talk? Hello? Am I nutritious? Yes. You guys also can be moved away with water, but I don't have water. Where do I get water? Oh, I gotta come back here for a second. Did you find the fireberries and water already? Yeah, we need the water, but uh, maybe it's available by the bridge? Because just looking around here, I don't see water anywhere. Here? Oh! I thought that was like a really long drop. Is it possible for me to get water like this? Oh no, I can't reach the water from here. This is very odd. When we fell into Ithursta, there was no water. I wonder if we really fell. Maybe we fell upside down. Maybe the magic door into Ithursta is underwater. Maybe. How do I bring the bucket down there then? Oh, there's the bridge. I knew we were on the other side. Hey, this is a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. It's just red, that's all. Hmm. Moonlight shine! It's very romantic. Hmm. We don't have that moonlight seed anymore, so the moonlight shine is not really that important. We don't really have that many items. I can't reach the water from here. Mr. Midnight, do you have any ideas? Oh, could I possibly borrow you, Lucifern? Would you... is that okay? I need help, please. Would you allow me to tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? Tie a bucket to our hair? Why? That sounds insane. Oh, it's not insane at all. I need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your beautiful long hair as a rope. Please, help me. Alright, we'll help you. Tie the bucket real tight. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Fill up the whole bucket, please. Oh, thanks. They look scary. They have all these bloody eyes and all, but they're nice. The bucket is now full of water. Oh, thank you, shiny insects. I have to go now. I have to go home. Home is somewhere we all wish to belong. But does home belong somewhere? What? I'm sorry, I didn't really understand the question. It was a rhetorical question. I just wanted to say that. You are your own home. Welcome yourself inside. You will find many doors to open. Oh, that sounds mysterious and beautiful. I'll try to do that some other time. Bye. Hmm, not a bad message. You are your own home. You don't need to go anywhere physically. Because... You decide where home is. Now can I move away the Kamalas before trying the fireberries? It says something just now about how it didn't weigh anything. Weird. Ah, won't work. Hmm. We can't really change them into... Falokas. Well, not much we can do about that, I suppose. Get out, scavengers! Visit me when I die. <laughs> it's me, sir. Can I climb on the moose again? Go ahead. <laughs> Give it such a scary voice, but it's a tiny little worm. It's a Grim Reaper worm. Alright. The fire's gone. I can take the berries now. I can't just pull them off my hands. They are firmly attached. Knife? Ooh, be careful, friend. The fireberries are not on fire anymore. Is that okay? Does that kind of make it different? I hope not. And just out of curiosity. Get out, scavengers! Deadly worm, sir? Will you come to visit me when I die? I always come to visit those whom time has left behind. Don't worry. That sounds good. We'll see each other again when I'm very old. I'm about to turn 11 years old soon, but that's not too old, so not yet. I'll see you when the circumstances are right. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure about that not being 
too soon. Think of a little misfortune. How old was she? Time is not forgiving. Edward, I am back with the water and the berries. Sir Edward, here's a bucket full of water. I got help from the shiny insects. You mean the luciferns? They are nice, yes, but only when you see them in this reality. They're very dangerous if you ever see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you. Wow, burn me? Well, I haven't been into the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. What's reasonable there may be the worst you'll ever experience. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, Fran. Okay. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna read the journal again. I wanted to look at the... the third reality, Pandora. Human world. What was the second one? This is the... This is the fourth? Third and the fourth. Oh, when it says Synercity is in the third and the fourth, does that mean that death exists in Pandora on Earth? And death also exists in whatever the fourth realm is. Mabuka, this is the... fifth one. Ugh... Strangely enough, the person who wrote this journal was able to come back to the human world, Pandora, even after going to Mabuka. It seems like a kind of place that you wouldn't be able to come back to- come back from. Sir, I brought the fireberries, but they are not on fire anymore. Magnificent. They will do just fine. Thank you very much, my darling. If you need them to be on fire, I can- I have matches. Oh, Fred, it's 2.34. The journey will begin. Let's go inside the machine. Just in time. Yeah, I really hope the flying machine takes us home, kitty. Me too. Yes, but it won't break. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Whoa. There you have it, a flying machine. It's 2.36! We have a great possibility of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited, Fran? Maybe I would be excited if I could understand more about the realities. You'll soon understand. The answers are not easy to recognize. Soon? But why not now? Time goes as it has to in order for you to be alive. Oh my gosh! It's powered by a bicycle! If it all happened now, you'd probably explode. Are you telling me the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly. You know what? I'd rather say... Through time, you have to explore an experience to understand. This means the answers will come when you find them. Not when others tell you how, or where to find them. Oh, I see. Well, I'm excited now. You woke up my curiousness. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious, and you'll always be amazed. But now, friend, we have to get things done. Talking won't get you home. Do I need to also ride a bike? <laughs> what thing, sir? The machine needs some maintenance, and I think you would do incredible work. Here are the fireberries and the water you gathered before. You're giving it back to me. <laughs> You'll need them to get the water pump working again and the fuel mixed. You'll find all information you need when you enter the room to the left. But feel free to enter any room you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic driver. <laughs> so much for automation. But if you have something to ask, I'll be here. Hmm, but I've never done anything like this before. That makes it even more exciting. Have fun, my darling. Alright, I'll go now. Ow. Hmm, this music makes me think of forks. Forks? Maybe it's done with forks. You never know. I'll keep this. Duct tape is always good to fix stuff. A hammer. Obviously to hammer stuff. <laughs> Look at her evil little face. Well, not if you wanted to use the hammer for something else. But for what? Nah, I'll just leave it here. For killing people. A wooden foot? 
It reminds me of me when I was a tree. I guess it's used as a model for making shoes. Edward's shoes are very pretty. It's like tap dancing shoes. Oh wow, whoa. What the hell's happening here? Oh my god. Feet! One foot with a shoe, one foot without a shoe. It's the Aethersal language again. I wonder what it says. Is that foot flesh on the sole, on the shoe's sole? Hmm. <laughs> I don't, okay. Huh, a feather, like the great wizard's riddle. The pen of men and the freedom of birds, yes. I think I knew the answer, even before reading the riddle. That's right, we got the feather before we got the riddle. Oh, this looks very complicated. Hmm, I'm not interested in knowing what it is. Maybe some other time. I think Edward has style. He likes things that I also like. Uh, teacups and teddy bears. All these details make me wonder. Hmm. Sir, can you tell me again what I was supposed to do? Sure, get the water pump working and the fuel mixed. Just follow the wall newels. It's like manual, but on the walls. I wonder what this machine does. It does for sure many things or nothing at all. Things move and rotate. That's all I see. Ah, I know what this is, a compass. Hmm, but this one seems to be confused. It shows north and south at the same time. Hello, Fran speaking. Ha, huh, nobody answers me. Anyways, I can always talk to myself. Oh, it's, it's sad, but hey, you gotta do with what you got. We're not quite... We're in between realities again, if the compass is messing up. Maybe I should push the button to open the door. Good idea. <gasps> oh, this was made by Edward. As a hint for me. Wow, that's a huge spinning top. I'm guessing this may be the engine. I really like the design. It's very understandable. Oh my freaking gosh, what is this? <gasps> there's codes, there's chemicals, there's filtration, and dilution, and oh my gosh. What do you have inside, little bottle? Oh my gosh. Blue hose ready to use. This pink hose may be good to connect somewhere. Not the paper though. Oh my gosh. Um. Oh, okay. I can like move it over like that. Can I... Can I reset though? Kind of messed up. Or maybe I just leave. I mean, I don't even know what I'm doing to begin with. Let me see. Hmm. AFM? Missing. Oh, am I missing the AFM... Um... Chemical, I guess? And maybe the fireberries and the water is what makes us AFM. Okay, we need to find the, the wall newel first. This vase has no flowers. Well, I'll just leave it there. <laughs> it's not a vase, Brad. I don't need this pencil. I already have a crayon. Well, you always need a pencil. Crayon's not always usable everywhere. Hmm. Are those to drink water? They're quite small. Maybe they're for very small amounts of water. Maybe they're for very thin people. <laughs> I see Fran is as good at chemistry as me, so this is gonna be a blast. Ooh. Ooh. Mmm, it's totally empty. Don't think we should be touching all this stuff without freaking looking at the manual first. Reality view. We see a... Oh! We see a fireberry, but in the ultra reality, we see a burning berry. <gasps> so the pills let me access the ultra reality? Chemical mixture. AFM. What? A18, 2PF, R15, N166. 
and then a bunch of arrows pointing everywhere, micronutrients and fireberries will supercharge an engine and ensure it lasts forever. Fireberries, Afuga, Rosenus, AFM. Reality and ultra reality? Interesting. This looks very chemical and fun. This must be the mixture for the fuel. Okay. We need to make AFM, right? But then this is this sheet is kind of assuming that we have AFM already. Mm, well, let me take a picture of this to begin with. Hold up. Okay. And then we can take a look at this again. I've kind of already put a whole bunch of stuff inside without really paying too much attention. Okay, so we have... PL33. That's not on the chart. 2PF is on the chart. 9JM is not on the chart. A18 is on. N166 is on. R15 is also on. So 9JM is not... We don't need to use it at all. Mm. They have an Erlenmeyer flask here, the triangle one. And then three beakers, and then another triangle one. Which is the same as what the setup in the sheet had. Along with three on the bottom here. AFM... Uh... Do I just put the fireberries inside? Is that AFM? The fireberries that aren't on fire into the vase. Ready? A18. Oh, but I kind of messed up. Is that okay? Oh, shoot. Now I messed up even more because I meant to put it over here. <laughs> 2PF should be here. I don't know if that works like that, though, because I feel like we should have to restart everything and then go from the beginning instead of just adding it into... Okay, now I've really done it. <laughs> oh, and the fireberries can't be taken back, so they are in the right place for sure. Do you mind if I just kind of... reset? Is that a thing? Well, I put the fireberries in. Okay, well, uh... <gasps> I guess we'll try and see if this works. Yeah. From the beginning again. This is supposed to be A18. This one, yeah? This is 2PF. I assume these are working. R15. And then N166. And then... Oh! The hoses... Using the arrows on the chart we saw. No, 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 no. Put it to the other one. Can we take out the orange one? Is that right? I don't think that's right. Or... No, it is, it is. Oh, because the placement on the image was a little bit different. Okay, and these two combine... I still have a pink one here. And then it's like this. Okay, this one has a fire. I think this should be turned on in order for it to work. Is it not on right now because there's no electricity or something? Because I don't see, um... This isn't turning on. Oh, uh, later on, we somehow have to mix these two things into the bigger beaker thing, the jar, to the side. But I'm not sure how this one works. Okay, well, first of all, I think we have to find a way to burn or start the fire first. But this isn't starting. Look at this mess! Itward doesn't know about hygiene. But he does know about mechanical things. Maybe he keeps these parts to make new ones. Oh, the compass goes in circles, upside down and nowhere. These lights show for sure that something is working. <laughs> but not everything. Are these all pressable or... Huge spinning top. There's also this here. Do we put a bunch of water in here or... Well, what do you know? I don't even know what we're doing, but it works, so it is fine. Oh! Is there a manual for this, or am I just kind of winging this? <laughs> Great, it's fixed! I should give myself a reward for being so clever. And then what? I guess if the light is red, it's not working. So the water's going here. This one has a lot of different things. We have a machine that looks like this one at home. 
I think this is a machine to warm up the water. It has to be. Okay. Instead of trying to do this randomly, is there a way for us to figure out this properly? A ventilation swirl. I won't touch it. I can harm myself. Oh, what? I can take it off on purpose? That's new. Huh. Well, we'll leave it alone for now. I don't see much else inside this room. Even on this sheet. Oh, hold on. There's another sheet here. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, this looks like some kind of water pump. I don't understand the language, but at least there are drawings. It seems that I have to fill up the pump with water and such, which I did. Oh yeah, look at those, those H2Os inside the water, oh my gosh. Flip the green switch to this side so the water goes this way. And then we gotta move the lever to the right. And then this... Oh, we need a fire! That's what we're missing. This has gotta be horizontal as well. So we got it over here, and then this should be flipped over. It should be like this. And then the last touch would be... A match! We did it! We did it! Now the chemical experiment. Can you turn this on? This is still not working. This is... Not on. Why? Mm, this is definitely... Green. And it links over here, right? So I would assume that would make this green as well, but... Still, we're missing something. Oh! Ultra reality! Oh my freaking god! Seconds and minutes and hours and days. Tick tock, tick tock. I forgot to understand you. I forgot to give myself some love. Just like the friend we saw back in Etherstom. A lot of eyeballs. Ugh. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'm trying to get the fireberries to catch on fire here. Or maybe that's not possible. I feel like this should turn on regardless of whatever chemical I put anywhere. But right now, it's just not reacting too much. EFM missing. Well, the fireberries didn't catch on fire like I thought they would in the ultra reality. But even back when we got it, though, we doused it in water, so it's not gonna catch on fire. Plus, it's in water right now. Oh! Okay, that's not good. <laughs> I meant for this. I guess I'm just changing it entirely. I'm not, like, layering it on top of each other. Wait. I'm hoping for that to come on, but why don't I just light this myself? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the whole time I was thinking that I had to turn this button. It's burning quite a lot. That's good. Okay. So this is burning. And then there's bubbles on these three. Hold on. Oh, we need one more hose here, right? No, 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 no. Pink hose on the spot. Really? I think... Hold on. Well, this hose isn't going anywhere. <laughs> Is that really okay? Uh, it won't really let me change the spot. <gasps> oh, wait, hey, what? A hose! It has a sort of connector. Where is the missing part? This hose has some kind of connector. I wonder what for. Can we use this here then? Or, hold on. I feel like I just saw... No, that's just a random hose here. What about this one? Oh! This looks like a green octopus hose. Ah, that's probably why our filtration wasn't working, because I was missing some hoses. Okay. This one splits into three. Which one would be good for that? Can we just randomly put this down here? 
Hmm, this one doesn't fit here. Yes, yes, because these two need to go into this final thing here. And then this one... Ah, no wonder the pink one wasn't working. Okay, so I think the hose is alright now, but... Is any filtration actually happening? <laughs> Are the chemicals wrong? Can check again. This one is A18. 2PF. R15. N116. Oh, the last one was wrong for whatever reason. I think it's done now. Super chemistry master Fran Bo. Wonderful. Oh, Fran, I finally managed to fix the automatic driver. Do you need help? I think I managed myself quite well too. I did all you asked of me. Very well, Fran. Everything seems to be working perfectly. Yes, everything looks so absolutely great. What should we do now, sir? Well, I wanted to ask you if you are afraid of rabbits. There is a little rabbit in one of the rooms, and I'm... I'm deeply afraid of it. Would you like to help me get rid of it? A rabbit? I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. With all things I've seen, I can't just imagine one kind of rabbit. Is it a chocolate rabbit? Or one with horns and killer eyes? You'll have to see it for yourself. It has a pink nose and blue boots. It's just sitting there. No blinking, no movement. It's staring all the time. It does sound very scary, sir. But show it to me. Otherwise, I will never know. Brave you are, dear. Follow me now. Oh. He said I could visit the other rooms, but I didn't even get a chance. Uh, I'll try the pills on this room later on. Oh, okay. Oh, there's multiple rooms. Hold on. Oh, the ladder leads to a door, but it's closed. Hmm, the keyhole requires a key for sure. It feels like something is missing. A key? Many things to look at. I don't think I need any of this. It makes me wonder. There are many things that we never really need. Yeah, that's a spirit. Reject materialism. This lamp looks like a teapot with forks and spoons. It does. That's exactly what it looks like. Lovely bears. They hold each other's hand. A lot of gloves. Many tiny gloves. They look a bit familiar. <gasps> are they mine? Are those gloves I've lost through time? Maybe Edward stole those gloves. That's why I lost them. That's King Zier. I recognize him. Hmm, I see now. They're friends. That's good. It makes me want to trust Edward. Right, remember the lock in the library. That's the Edward lock. Oh, this looks like a mathematical problem. I wonder what kind of things this machine counts. I wonder. Hmm? Nothing around here? But I won't try to solve it. I have other things to do. <laughs> Wait, every single chair is different for some reason. Mr. Midnight Dolls. I wonder if Edward really does love black cats. If these dolls represent Mr. Midnight, it would be strange. Edward makes me wonder so many things. Oh, so many pages to read. I hope they have pictures. But letters are alright. They tell stuff to imagine. Where? See? It's just sitting there. Isn't that strange behavior? I do feel like it's a toy. Maybe the rabbit is scared and that's why it won't move. Would you please try to make contact with it? I don't dare to touch it. All right, sir. I'll take the rabbit and show you there's nothing to be afraid of. And nothing bad's gonna happen? I should get the little rabbit first. Edward is quite scared of it. Should I use the pills now? Okay, okay. See? It's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, 
You're right, Fran. There's nothing to be afraid of. Oh! What? What? Don't go! Mr. Midnight? This isn't funny! Oh, he's really not that stupid. No, he was trying to trick me the whole time. Why? I thought you were my friend, Edward. Mr. Midnight, say something. Please don't take my kitty away from me again. Open the door. Hello? Let me out, you evil. Oh, no. 